If you have a student loan or your co-signer on one, we have good news for you. Fannie Mae, the nation's largest underwriter for mortgages, just introduced three new rules that's going to affect people with student debt. These new rules can make it easier to get a mortgage and they can make it easier to pay off your or your kids' student loans. The first change is for those on income-based repayment plans where having a high debt to income ratio is the number one reason for not being approved for a mortgage. Fannie Mae previously used a very conservative 1% of the total loan instead of the actual monthly payment. This can drastically lower your debt to income ratio and gives you a much better chance of qualifying for a mortgage. Some folks are lucky enough to have their student debt paid by their parents or even by their employer. The thing is, Fannie Mae didn't take this into account when calculating the debt to income ratio. That's the second new change. If your employer or your parents have been paying off your student debt and you can show evidence of this for the past 12 months, then this debt won't be counted in your debt to income ratio. This makes it more likely that you can qualify for a mortgage. If you can qualify for a mortgage, you should. Rates are still at historic lows and a lot of great houses have just come on the market. Fannie Mae also makes it possible to refinance your mortgage for more than the value of your home. Normally, there is a 0.25% fee that applies to any cash you take out in this way. This third big change is that Fannie Mae will now waive that fee when you use this cash to pay off a student loan. This applies whether the loan is yours or your cosigner. If the mortgage rate is significantly lower than the student loan rate, it can make sense to refinance in this way and the new rule makes it cheaper to do so. If you need help understanding any of these new guidelines or putting them into practice, get a hold of us. We hope to hear from you soon.